Your Uncanny LP site already has a user registration form set up if you want to use that. That enables users to self-register as learners and then get access to the site. There's also a page set up depending on how you've configured your site either for profile management you can either use the e-commerce system if you're using that which enables it natively or you could set up another site using what you've learned already about um, adding a site to a menu and making that accessible to signed in users. So let me just take a look at uh, what is there right now because it does tie into, I, I am going to tie it into um, the user registration functions for the form tool. So even though they're already set up, I do want to show an example of those and I'm going to show it with a, a profile management uh, form. So let's go to the front end. I'm going to go to my account. So from here you can see I can modify profile details from this page because it's part of the e-commerce package. So this is only available though if you do have e-commerce turned on on your site. And if you don't, then you will not see this option available. So in the event that you don't, and on your LP site you will have a profile update page set up, but you might choose, there might be some need for some something that's custom or you're capturing additional profile details or something is unique about your registration or profile functions that might require you in future to create or modify a registration or profile update form. So I do want to cover those. It is definitely a limited audience. Not many people are going to do this, but at the same time, I think it's a good idea if you understand how this works. So this is a pre-release test site. There is no profile update form right now. I'm going to start off by taking a look at the registration form. And this one we've already shown in previous videos. So we capture you know, name, capture email address, we capture password. Very straightforward here uh, and, and very simple on the registration form. And this is set up on a sample page. All right, so once the form is set up, you might be wondering, well, now that I got the form, how do I map it to values in WordPress? And that is done through the user registration. So I'm not gonna save my changes. And for that to work, for what you submit in a form or what user submitted in a form to show up in WordPress in their profile and to create the user, you need a user registration feed. So here's how that works. We set up a name for it. We define whether it's for creating a user or updating a user. And then down here, we've got the different values that can be captured in the form that we're capturing in the form and how they map to what's in WordPress for the user's profile. So in this case, uh, we're mapping it to what's captured in the form. Um, we can control even what roles they are. So um, yeah, if you did need like a user registration function for group leaders, for example, you could create a new form uh, for group leaders and uh, set them as the group leader role. You'd have to be careful with that because you don't want all your users being group leaders. It's gonna complicate things a lot, but anyway, you could do that. Um, if you have custom fields, you can define them here as well. These are all profile options. Uh, I know it's kind of overwhelming here, but if you needed to, you could create even a new custom meta field that you could capture on registration and then map it to the WordPress profile for the user and then uh, define uh, where it goes. So these are the, the current form values. Anyway, um, so we've set up this um, this mapping up here and then there are some additional options down here so if we want to send them an email then we can do that i'm not going to cover user activation there's more information here if you want to validate users like that um, and then of course registration conditions like maybe you only want to register someone if you know something is true or something or it matches a value then you could do that i'm going to turn those off so again this is already set up for your user registration form now, let's say that I do not currently have a page for profile management. I want to create one. So let's walk through the entire process then. So I'm going to add a new form. Okay, I'm going to call it uh, profile update and I'm going to create that form. So what I want to do here, it might have been better to 
duplicate the existing one. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to go through. Um, and it might help to have the other form up just so I can see how that was created. So let's go back to the registration form. I can see what I've got there. So I've got a uh, name field here with first and last name. I've got um, email field here and I've got a password field here. So let's say I just want the same. So I want name, name, and that's all I need there. I just need first and last. So I'm going to put that in there. Again, this is this is just updating. So this, this information is already going to be there for the user. Um, okay, so I've got the name. The next thing I want is the email. So I've got the email there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. And the next thing I want is the password. So password is there. That's it. I'm going to leave it just with those fields for now. Uh, what did I want to do over here? I just want to turn notifications off for profile updates. I don't want any kind of notification. You probably want to set it up that way as well for your registration form um, because it will send a notification anyway on new accounts. So you might get a duplicate from your registration form if this is turned on for registration forms. All right, so that's done. And now what I want to do is go into the user registration feeds. I'm going to change this to profile update. I want to update the user. Okay, so it's already figured out a bunch of information here. So there's we're not going to update nickname or um, we're going to change this to first name, last name. Um, email address is there. Password is there. We're not going to let them change the role. All right, so I'm going to update that. And now I've got this ID 10. Let me just go back. Um, all right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new page. New page. I'm going to call this um, profile update. And in there, of course, I'm going to add the form that I just created. So this is the profile update form. Um, Let's just throw some information in here. I don't have a description. Anyway, let's let's start off with that, see what that looks like as a starting point. Nothing else I need to update here. Actually, I don't really need a sidebar. But I might be blank without it. Let's take a look at what this looks like without changes here. And that's good enough. All right, so you can see it's already populated information from my profile. Uh, so it's got some information here, and here's where I could enter a new password, and uh, it would change things. So let's let's say that I'm um, using the test user now. Let's say that I want to change this to Smith instead, and I'm not going to change my password. All right, that was that was a bad submission. Um, I because I didn't do anything with the notification, or sorry, the um, confirmation confirmation settings so that was fast it's uh, it's obviously completely invalid for the messaging so kind of a quick example you certainly wouldn't use this text when you uh, when you update what I might do let me just go back into it um, so I want to go back into uh, my update form a better behavior would just probably be reloading the page so if I do that I got to go into my confirmations. I'm going to change this confirmation. The text doesn't make any sense. Just showing text probably doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to reload the uh, profile update page. Um, so you, you, let me just, uh, okay, let me go back to, I didn't add it anywhere. That's kind of a problem too. So let's go ahead and change that. If you'll notice too, it's changed the name to Smith up here. So based on that update, um, then in here, okay, I think I'm, actually, I'm not sure what I wanted to change here now. Let me just reload this page. Okay, so let's change it this time to Jones. Reload that. Okay, good, it's saved. You could have a confirmation message too if you wanted. All right, obviously this this title doesn't work either. I shouldn't have shown the uh, the name. So, you know, you can edit, you can make tweaks um, until you've got something that works. So false for the title because it was duplicated. It's pulling in the name from the post already. Um, and if I go back, that's, yeah, that looks better. That's better. 
All right, so now I've got a profile update page. And then, of course, if I wanted to, I can just go to design and then menus. And uh, for any signed in users, I probably want to make this available now. Um, where do I want it? I want it probably in maybe the secondary menu. Yeah. So again, this is only going to show up then with um, when you've got the e-commerce package enabled, so the e-commerce function. Uh, I'm just going to add this here. So for other people, like if you don't have that, we can go and add that really quickly there. Only want it for logged in users. Save that. And then when I go back out to the front end, uh, let me do that. I'm just going to refresh from the home page. Oops, not what I meant to click. All right, now we've got this profile update. And we can click that, and we've got a nice form that lets us update our profile and changes the information in the back end for the WordPress profile for the user. So that was kind of a fast introduction, but it does work. This is how you would set it up if you need alternate pages for registration and updating profiles. So you can make changes to those. Feel free to make modifications to the ones we set up or use your own, whatever fits your context. And hopefully this video helps you get part of the way there.